Happy Monday. I have my night class in a few minutes, but I want to show you this delicious California walk. It's their shrimp and steamed vegetables. It's delicious. Welcome back to my vlog. Today is Tuesday. It's a gorgeous day. It's 71 and sunny. It just makes me appreciate living here. You know, there's a lot going on in Southern California, but you can't argue the weather. Looking where our family is from back east right now, it's a huge storm and I don't think I would be able to survive. <laughs> Honestly, I know people adapt, you know, a little bit of snow I feel like is nice, but to have months and months of it, I don't know, that would be difficult. So anyways, today I'm going to physical therapy. So this is week eight. I had a car accident eight weeks ago and I totally expected I would be like fine by now. I mean, it wasn't like that serious. I, I got T-bone on my driver's side. So I did, especially like my left side, um, like going down. I did feel, even right after it happened, I felt like an impact. It usually takes a couple days and then I, after like a car accident, I'll feel like whiplash. But I felt it right away, like my whole arm and shoulder. When I wake up in the morning, my hip like hurts on my left side and that never happened before. So I don't know what that's about. I'm getting an MRI tomorrow to figure that out, but I don't want it to be anything like serious. That would suck. So I'm hoping it's nothing and it's just a couple more weeks of like soreness. I don't know, but that's where it's at right now. It was the other person's fault and 100%. You know, I have empathy for those situations because nobody is a perfect driver and everyone makes mistakes, but you know, I'm genuinely sore <laughs> still. So hopefully it's just another two weeks um of this but who knows no idea so um this week i looked on mls for some listings in our area i have a buyer up to six hundred thousand in the san fernando valley area and so they're looking for like a single family home but it's crazy like in this price range even two years ago or three years ago maybe at the most six hundred thousand in the part of the valley that they're looking in would get them a nice single family home like a three bedroom two bath but now it's eight hundred thousand, even in the like lesser desirable areas of the valley a single family home you're looking in the sevens and eights and some people think we're in a bubble right now i don't know if we are i don't know just because there's the supply they're so low inventory hypothetically you know let's say there are going to be some foreclosures and things that end up happening in the next few months but i don't feel like it would affect the market because there's literally no inventory i mean even in our neighborhood where we live you know in any given month even in the slow months of real estate there would be like a dozen six at least half a dozen to a dozen homes for sale in our neighborhood on any given month of the year. Now there's like one or two, three at the most in like a one mile radius. So it's unprecedented, um, the lack of inventory. And for that reason, I just personally don't feel like the prices are gonna move much, even if there is some type of hit to the economy. This location, I don't feel like it would be affected. Even in Orange County, we had a buyer in Orange County and they couldn't, they were priced out. Half a million dollars couldn't even get a townhouse in Orange County for that price. Um, it's definitely a seller's market. I've always worked with buyers, so that's why it's tricky right now. It's definitely like a different, totally different to work with sellers versus buyers. My husband, He's more of like the marketing expert. I feel like, you know, it might be a good idea if we start teaming up because he would be, he's better probably on the seller's end just due to the marketing aspect of it. So that's about it for now. Um, I'll cut, try to catch up maybe midweek. Enjoy this beautiful weather 
if you are so fortunate enough to live here right now. Look who wanted to go to the park at night. <laughs> Yay! Good thing it's open. <laughs> You're a good climber. Like here? The red thing? She's good at like climbing now. Like a big girl. Yeah, you climb like a big girl now. Ready? Ready? <gasps> you got this! Yay! Wow! Look at you scale that. You got it? You got it. Nice. So, mom life, we're at the playground. It's 6 30, it's dark out. I took my husband with me because um, it's dark, so to be sure we were safe anyways we're just gonna go to target and pick up like a backpack for her and i got some like household items and then call it a night tomorrow we have her preschool interview so that's about it <laughs> she's having a good old time the big backpack debate <laughs> yeah these are all kind of big yeah, I know. Okay. I'm going to show you. I got it. Target last night. We got a backpack for her. So a lot of the kids' backpacks look like adult size. They looked pretty big. And then they had a couple that were like really, really small. So this was a in-between size. It's good for her. And there's enough room to put her school stuff in it. So it was $18. I thought it was cute. Little acid wash with a pink trim. And then we were in the girls section, so she's actually like a girl size now, like a extra small in girls. I don't even have to really go into the toddler section for her anymore. So these were all from the girls section. So first I thought these were cute. <laughs> these are so like 80s, but I love them. The same brand, More Than Magic, $8. These are a size 4 or 5. They're little like stretchies. I swear I had these exact little biker shorts when I was little. And then I couldn't pass these up. These overalls for spring. I've been wanting to get her a pair of overalls. These are the ones with the shorts. Um, and this is the Cat and Jack. So these are 18. I feel like that's a really good price for denim girls overalls. And they have a little embroidery front pocket. And then for underneath it, I just got this um, baby pink tank top to go underneath it. So that's it for her little back to school <laughs> shopping trip. She's gonna be in a uniform, but you know, I just wanna get into that little back to school vibe for her, so. All right, do we look private school worthy? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> We're on our way to meet with the principal. That's a rhetorical question. Wish us luck. <laughs> luck. Good luck. Luck. <laughs> Good evening. I'm getting my MRI for my low back. Um, I have an evening appointment for that. I have my thread up in the back seat. I didn't have time to send that out today. Um, we had... Gia school met with the principal, went well. So we're hopefully gonna get her registered and start her, not maybe next week, but the week after, we'll see. She needs to get like a uniform and 
other things like that. So um, yeah, just going to get my MRI for my low back. I got the one for my shoulder already. Um, but they want to do it two separate times. So this one is the one I feel like they're going to find something because of my left hip. Like every day, like today was a little bit better, but it's still like not the same as it was before. Usually my everyday activities, I would never have any like back pain or hip pain or anything like that. But now ever since the car accident, literally every single day, like my hip hurts. So I'd be very, very surprised if they didn't find anything on the MRI because there's definitely something um, going on. If it's like muscular, I feel like that's good maybe because then it's not serious. I don't want there to be anything like any discs or anything like out of place. <laughs> but this will give you more information. And then, so I don't know if I'll be able to do any tours this week. Um some houses there is one that we really do want to go look at but it might not be till this weekend or early next week so we're trying to focus on getting Gia enrolled in school and to start her on Monday if possible if not then the following week other than that so far is a good week I'm so tired I'm going to go get my MRI and then I'll catch up with you guys in if not tomorrow, then um, by the weekend. Just got done with my MRI. That stuff's scary. The first time I had like the worst claustrophobia, but I hung in there. The second time wasn't as bad, but the noises, it's like, whoa. So glad that's done. Basically, I'm heading into CVS to get some iced coffee because I am fading. Um, and then that'll be it for tonight. I will let you know the results of my MRI. They said they already had the one back for my shoulder. So next time I go into physical therapy, um, I'll probably find out about that. And then she said this one should only take a day for them to read as well. So um, maybe by Friday I'll know what's going on. And um, if it's something too serious, they said I can like amp up my physical activity and stuff, but we'll see. So <laughs> that's it for right now.